Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. As companies try to scale their on their data science operations, quality data sets are very important. And how can we get this quality? By having a proper data engineering. And that is what we discussed with Hitesh in this video. Hitesh Mundra is a data architect and he has given some great tips and suggestions on what is data integration, what is data engineering, if how one can start their careers in that direction and many more things. Uh, if you like such videos and if you want more such videos about data engineering, please do comment in the comment section below and till I meet you next time. Enjoy. Hello, welcome back everybody. Uh, th thanks for joining today. And today in this video, we are actually talking to Hitesh. We did a very wonderful video with uh, Hitesh on what is data governance. And today he's here to talk about what is data integration. Uh, if you have watched this previous video, uh, great. If you have not watched it, I'll put the link somewhere here and you can jump in there. Uh, rather than me introducing, why don't Hitesh introduce himself in a, with a fresh set of eyes? Hitesh, why don't you introduce yourself again for our new viewers? Uh, thanks, Raga, for inviting me again. And uh, it was nice, nice talk to you earlier. And uh, also, I'm really excited and thrilled to have again a short chat with you. I'm Hitesh. Hello, guys. I'm Hitesh. Uh, I'm working uh, in an MNC as a data architect. I have worked uh, around seven and a half years specialized in the data engineering and uh, data integration. And uh, where we were having a lot of uh, data sources, we building up and warehouse connecting from various kind of tools and technologies like uh, very uh, open source tools or uh, the proprietary tools like Italand and uh, a Pentaho, Ipa Apache NiFi, yeah, AWS Glue. So where we have building these uh, projects while integrating uh, information systems and uh, that allow our management to see, uh, you know, to take the decisions on the analytical and the business uh, intelligence platform we build it up. Very nice. So uh, that's a big set of tools what you just introduced to be very honest. Everyone is a separate section by itself. But today, focusing on our section, uh, Hitesh, we wanted to know what is data integration overall, right? So there are many viewers who are college students and people who are trying to come from different careers, right? So, and this is one of the common question, ETL, data integration, but let's keep it as data integration. And that is what our video title also says. So what is data integration? So data integration is a set of uh, process. I would say it's a, like a, a workflow which allow to integrate heterogeneous or I can say uh, various different kind of uh, data sources can be file system, can be databases, can be web services, can be, uh, you know, SQS, like a simple queue messaging service, Kafka, for example. Yeah, so it can be anything. And uh, the data integration tools is allowing you a one centralized process where you can combine all of this information together consolidate all the data sets from the different sources and uh, you know make it a uniform database or uniform data set which is based in your warehouse and on the top you do the business analytics and you know algorithm machine learning or i would say data science algorithms to generate the results and make the decisions on the you know the input that you have done and all the on the findings that you got it from your information systems yeah so, so what do you think are the advantages of this data warehouse or using this data integration? So I could have just done data uh, analytics or whatever it is directly through Kafka, directly through file system. So what is the advantage? Why do we need data integration? So sometimes it is very difficult because uh, when you join the two different data sources located in different places and having no you know connection between them and somehow we need a central platform where we need information from both of different system together into one place so how do we merge it so neither first system is interesting in the others and the vice versa and but we need because we are a third party and we need both of the information together like imagine when you are having a company and you want to see that uh, what's your product you promoted on the social media like a facebook like a twitter so twitter is not interesting to learn from facebook and the vice versa as well but now your company needs that uh, who's rated on twitter what and who's rated on facebook what and exactly and where you need a data integration platform where you merge both the information together and have it a uh, good result you know because you know everything is in your system and here you can see everything what happened where and what reacted yeah people what reacted example if i want to see my facebook likes versus my tweet retweets how do I really see the count? Probably merge that information. 
So to merge this information, are there any standard tools already out there? And are there any famous tools? Are there any upcoming tools? And uh, why don't you, what are the different tools in this space? Yeah, and so I think when, however you want to put it. Mm -hmm. Tools and technology. So when I started, at, I think uh, around seven and a half years or eight years, nearly there was only two famous tools. So one was Informatica uh, and SAP, and then Talent was also one of. And, and that time, the open source, uh, you know, uh, get started into the industry and what uh, and where I started because I was not able to pay the big license fees there. So then I started with the open source, and uh, then luckily I I found a Talent, which is really, which is still really, you know. Uh, very robust and uh, having everything in a one place. So uh, Talent is also one of the tool together with the Informatica and SAP. And nowadays it is a super famous, I would say so. And it's pretty awesome. Apart from that, there are a lot of cloud tools and technologies developed. For example, uh, in Amazon, you can have a Apache, uh, in, you can have a AWS Glue there. Uh, and there's also Apache NiFi. And uh, you can also find the Teradata's NiFi yeah, you can also find uh, Pentaho's NiFi tool. Yeah, apart from that, there are also some proprietary tools like Microsoft uh, SSIS, which is also a data integration tool, but it's a paid one, unfortunately. And uh, ClickSense it's also have their own integration tools. And nowadays, you know, you you heard probably Snowflake that is also having some integration capabilities. Yes. So everything is having, yeah. you know, and Google is also having it. So, but yeah, that's a lot of tools in the market exist. I've heard about Spark. And I've heard people using programming languages also to do data integration, but I don't know how successfully they are doing it, but I've heard, is that also a people use? I mean, like, um... Yeah, so Spark and the Python, they are, you know, nowadays those who are really, you know, coder, they, they, they love to do the code. They generally do this uh, using Spark and Python to integrate the things, but you know, there are some advantages and dis disadvantages, but when you need a speed, you need a velocity, then you need some kind of drag and drop things to do, not to write everything by hand. And you know, the future is like low code platforms. And if you do the coding, then it would be difficult to get gain the speed. And because industry is revolving very, very fast. So pro probably people don't want until they don't have some specific or custom based requirement. So they need a speed. And to get the speed, you need the drag and drop and easiest the way to integrate things in a quick way, yeah. And that's where, the yeah. integration tools comes. Very good. Makes sense. I think we discussed about a lot of um, uh, tools. Like we said, Informatica, SSIS, SAP. We, uh, we talk about all the NiFi tools for Teradata. Snowflake has its own tool and the other stuff. So it's a very good thing. Looking at my next question, what I wrote down for you, to be very honest, I mean, just to make, um, uh, what are the different career options for uh, in data integration? So uh, yeah, it's a, it's a really good question. So those who are beginner for them, uh, <laughs> I would say you guys start with the data engineering because it's a, it's a really, really high in the market in a demand. And I, I see uh, Facebook, Google, Amazon, uh, Walmart, and any other consulting company like a Deloitte, uh, or uh, PwC. So every, every company, is, you will definitely find a data engineering position. So data engineering is a uh, role which is, uh, you know, having uh, uh, a requirement to do the data integration, ETL, ELT, yeah, extract transform load, extract load transformation, for example. So these are the basic of a data engineering. And then on the top, there are some uh, analytics or machine learning algorithms you apply for. So it's you, you work together with the data scientists so that you provide uh, a set of good data quality sets to the scientists that they can use it. So, uh, in the career, it's it's really you have a lot of open positions. I see that every company is having it. If those who are working in a data domain, yeah. So primarily, the the target keyword is data engineer. Yeah, right? it's a so that's it's, that's, you, that's you, the primary yeah. target keyword. Yeah, you were trying to say something. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So uh, data engineering, you will find the name as a job name. It's a, like a role name. You will find it easier. You will definitely uh, not find much options when you say uh, data integration engineer or so. There's a less chances. Yeah. Data engineer. So for data engineer, um, um, what are the best to get into data integration as a data engineer? What are the few things which they have to learn, right, uh, to become this data engineer? Yeah, so uh, I think nowadays Python is uh, very famous and it's very easy. 
So you don't need to be a complex programmer. It's a very easy, uh, yeah, modern, like a modern language. And okay. everyone can learn it very fast. So Python, uh, mm -hmm. to understand the code, basic codes, don't need to do much in depth, but you can have that uh, to understand that how actually computer system works. And then the SQL and uh, a small one or two uh, web services that you can find in a Google as a sample uh, to understand like a JSON and XML, how they works. And then uh, file systems like a CSV file that we have an Excel sheet, uh, if we can see. So if you if you understand the Excel, uh, some part of Excel is still that's okay. So that's all you need. You don't need too much things to learn together. So, so if you understand all these data sources, uh, is there any freeware and openware tool where I can merge? So let's say I have an Excel at home. I know some JSON information. Uh, let's say Google has its own APIs and stuff like that. So uh, from there we get information and the other data sources, let's say uh, a MySQL database uh, at home can be combined. So all these data sources can be combined and is there a tool where I can, where I, or when I, when I say I am basically representing all our viewers, right? So I can learn easily using any specific tool. Like you said, Talent, Talent is an open source tool. So can we just mm -hmm. download Talent and start playing with it or? Yeah, of course it's a, it's like a one person, uh... Or uh, kind of uh, tool, so it's a freeware. You can do anything with your uh, within your laptop. It's not really a big uh, challenge. It's uh, it's working when you have still like four gigabyte or eight gigabyte of RAM in a laptop. It's fine. You can do anything with it. So it's you can download and it's free. Absolutely. So uh, any any specific tips for anybody who wants to start their career in uh, uh, data engineering? What as your experience with your expertise. Yeah, so uh, for the absolute beginner, I would say uh, the confidence, trust in yourself, that it will take with the time, it, it, it will come with the time. It's not that you will learn it overnight. It's not possible. Correct. Yeah, so Correct. have confidence in, your, in yourself. And uh, of course, keep pushing hard yourself to achieve it, you know, and don't stop until you don't get it. That's a thanks a lot. Uh, thanks a lot, Hitesh. This was again a great video. Uh, everybody, if you need any questions which you want to be answered by Hitesh, please drop uh, your uh, comments in the comments section. And if you want any questions specific to me or you want to learn more about data integration and what is data engineering, like what are the tools, technologies, uh, anything, put it in the uh, comment section and we'll definitely try to answer. And I'll summarize what all description, what we spoke to Hitesh here, and I'll put it in the description, like any specific links or anything, what we want. But uh, other than that, Hitesh, thanks a lot. It was a great session uh, with you and hope we connect again on a different topic some, some other day. Sure, pleasure to have it here. Thank you. Thanks a lot, take care.